Why are we here? Right, we're here because people have had enough. I think I think the, the combination, the cost of living crisis, all the attacks on people's te pet, pay, terms and conditions, people are just standing together now to say enough's enough. In my own union, PCS, we want a ballot for strike action. We don't do that lightly because nobody wants to lose money at a time like this. But our members recognise the only way we're going to be able to push back on some of the attacks that we're facing is by everybody standing together. So that's why we're here tonight. How would you describe the strikes bill? The, the, how, do? how would you describe the strikes bill? I, I think it's a real attack on human rights, on fundamental human rights. Um, if, if, if members aren't given the ability to go on strike against what well, they... Let's remember, these are the same workers that were clapped on a Thursday night and thank for keeping the country running. Key workers that kept this country running throughout the pandemic now being told, actually, we're going to take away your right to ever be able to protest against what, what you're faced with. That's a real attack attack on human rights and people won't put up with it. And there is a real disconnect between that treatment being hailed as heroes and now be, being, being vilified. Yeah, I mean a lot of our members worked all the way through the pandemic, you know, so there's talk of old oh, people didn't go into the workplace, loads of ours did. And even the ones that work from home, they work throughout and they work really, really hard to keep the country running. And they see this as a real kick in the teeth. And, and really all we want the government to do is talk to us, talk to us about what we can do to, to put money in people's pockets so that they can spend in the economy. It's a myth to say that it's pay increases in the public sector that are going to, going to affect the, um, austerity or, or going to affect inflation. Actually, it will boost the economy and, it, and it's what we need right now. How is the cost of living affecting your members? Well, it, it, I work, I'm employed by the DWP and we have now 40% of our members in receipt of the low income benefits that they process. We have 45% using food banks and we found out this week that 27,000 DWP workers will be forced to have an enforced pay increase in April because they've fallen below the national living wage. So that is how the cost of living increase. You know, we're painted as bowler hatted bureaucrats, people that earn a lot of money sit around drinking tea when the reality is our members work really hard they're working class people that are trying to keep this country running doing often a thankless job but, do, but doing it very well and the reward for that as I say is a below inflation pay pay increase in fact lowest offer in the, in the UK for the civil service 2% when inflation's running at 11 so it's not good enough I think people would be staggered to learn that the people enforcing these policies are, are, are made worse off by them absolutely I mean that's shocking statistic about the number of our own members who process benefits for a living but are also in receipt of benefits because of because of the low income they, they're on now it's just shocking it's just not acceptable how do you reckon that what do you make of the government's uh, relationship with the strike movement well, I think there's a lot more that they could be doing. I think that, you know, it's not enough anymore to listen. We've had lots of meetings with ministers where they've listened to what, what we've said, that, and that's great, but now we need them to actually do something about it, and that means putting money on the table. Do you believe Rishi Sunak when he says he believes in the right to strike? No. <laughs> I believe he's trying to restrict the right to strike and, and you know, let, let, let's see about that because, you know, we, what we can't have is a conscripted workforce that doesn't have the ability to stand up for themselves in the face of everything that, that, that's happening and we won't, we won't allow that to happen. And then, um, what, what is life like for your average member at the moment? hard. Uh, people are really, really struggling to meet and make ends meet. We recently did a survey of members to ask them how, how, you know, how they were getting on, what was the cost of living crisis meaning for them, and actually some of the stories are heartbreaking. People literally choosing between heating and eating, people sitting under a blanket to do their work who, for the ones that are working at home because they can't afford to put the heating on during the day. And these are civil servants, these are government employees, and it's just unacceptable. There's the kind of most striking thing about this legislation legislation is that, or to me at least, is that the government is saying there needs to be a minimum service level to, to protect people, but there's not that minimum service level now. I was just going to say, where's the minimum service level every other day when there's not a strike? We, we, need, we need to make sure that people can make ends meet and that we don't have waiting lists in hospitals where there's 500 people are die, dying because, because there just isn't enough resource into central services. So yeah, there really does need to be a crisis discussion about what, we, what they do to resolve this. Because it, is, it isn't going to go away, is it? Look at the people here tonight. This is all the way across the movement now. Is there anything else you'd want to add? Only, only that we hope that people will support us. I, I recognise that, you know, striking seems 
hard, but it, but it is a last resort. It's not something anybody does lightly. It means losing money, but people feel it's worth it in order to defend public services. So we need to make sure that workers, people who use our services, benefit claimants, we're all standing together against what this government is doing, and, and, and that's not going to change, is it, until the government sit down and talk to us. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.